Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. It is Monday, family day here. I don't know if it's all over Canada, but definitely in Ontario. And I'm coming to you live. Whoopsie. <clears throat> so, true story. Yesterday was Sunday, Valentine's Day. I actually forgot to do Facebook Live. I was lying in bed, like, late, and I thought, oh my god, I forgot to do my Facebook Live. I was thinking yesterday was Saturday. Anyhow, here I am. So, Sundays I do Celebration Sunday. So today I'm doing Celebration Sunday and a bit of Pierced Blooms. And this week I'm going to work on with pierced blooms and well in blooms and pretty perennial so I just combined them anyone else ever forget what day it is during this crazy COVID crazy COVID time okay I think I found myself there we go Ooh, that needs to go down all right so we're ready to go Hello everyone. <laughs> you forget a lot, Manik. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. Like I totally forgot. I've been in my I was in my craft room most of the day, but I was um doing blog posts and pinning Pinterest and figuring out my PDF store. And I was in the zone doing all that kind of stuff and I completely forgot. Anyways, I'm here today. And the good news is my PDF store is now available on my website. A lot of people have been asking for PDFs of my classes because they're not either not in Canada or they're a demo. So they <clears throat> don't want to buy the products. So at MarianneCowan.com, www.MarianneCowan.com, if you go to shop, then there's a drop down and you'll see PDF tutorials. So I have six of them on there now. So that's what I was busy doing yesterday. Well, it was mostly like that kind of stuff. And I just totally forgot to come on. Anyways, I apologize. I hope everyone had a nice Valentine's Day. Norm and I ordered takeout from Lone Star. So we had fajitas. It was yummy. And today we're expecting um, snow. There's a snowfall warning. So maybe up to 20 or 25 centimeters by tomorrow. So that'll be good. All right. So I'm here now. I'm glad I'm here. The celebration paper that we're talking about is called Paper Blooms. Now, just a reminder, celebration ends February 28th. It used to be three months, but it's only two months now. So it ends February 28th. So it is the perfect time to stock up on adhesives, cardstock, stuff you know you're going to go through. Because for every $60 in Canada that you spend, you get a free celebration item. So you could get this Paper Blooms Designer Series paper which has been really popular. It hasn't gone on back order though, which is good. They have a lot, I think four packs of paper. Yes, four paper blooms, field and flowers. Oh, so ombre, maybe three. Oh yeah, and the um, berry blessings. They have actually four packs of paper in celebration this time, which I don't think I've ever seen four packs of paper. And I love each and every one of them and use them for different things. So, kind of glare there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're doing paper blooms and <clears throat> we're doing in bloom and pretty perennials. These are both in the mini catalog. Now, the mini catalog is here till June, so that's good. And the paper actually, it looks like it matches this one, but it actually matches this one. And the dies for this it are the pierced bloom dies. And then I think this one is called the perennial dies. <clears throat> They're over by my die cutting machine, so I don't have them. So we're going to be working with these ones all week. So we'll start today with paper blooms. So when I started, I thought, okay, let's do paper blooms because I haven't done that yet. Then I started looking. I thought, I'll just pull out the cards that maybe I've already made with it. 
and I realized I've done a whole video on paper blooms. So I'll show you some of the cards that we've previously made. So there was this one. I was trying to do kind of a scalloped edge along here. And then we did the envelope. This one was from our birthday card class. Don't look, Judith. So it's a little fun fold. So this is the same paper. Then I did this one, which got a bit smudged. And this one. So I found I was using mostly the floral papers. And then this little fun fold. So I challenged myself today to use the papers that I haven't used yet. Because sometimes it's not your favorite at the beginning, but then when you start using it, you actually like it. So, just, these are all getting caught. Oh, the other one I did with the <coughs> dies was this little uh, step fold card. And then I had made this one with the paper. So that was on one of our fun fold days last, last week. So, I challenged myself to use the papers I haven't used yet. So let's get started. The first one I think is a great masculine card. I'm just going to slide the rest of the stuff over. So our base, Knight of Navy. Seems to be, okay, it's getting wrong. I hope everyone had a nice Valentine's Day. And that you people who were really chilly aren't quite as chilly anymore. Knight of Navy. Then we have Balmy Blue. Because if you look at this paper, which I haven't used yet, it's got um, Misty Moonlight, Knight of Navy, and then this one could be... Um, well, Pool Party was a bit light. So I picked this one, which is balmy blue. And I think it's good that it's not the exact same color. Then I took my piece that was four and a half by four, and I trimmed, I cut it at one and a half. So four and a half by four, and I cut it at one and a half, and I'm going to put them a little bit apart. So to do that, I think I'm going to do the, people do this different ways. Some people do the middle one first, some people start here. But I'm going to do the middle and hope that I kind of, oh geez, that was a lot of glue. That I get it more or less centered. You could use your grid paper if you want to be really exact. But this is good enough for me. Okay, so we've got our middle one and I'm making sure that I have my pieces in the right order. When I cut them like this, I always stack them so that the one on the left is the top one. So I'm hoping to get the same amount of space on each side. That looks good. This one on the back with the big colored whooshy things. I don't know. I just haven't used it yet. I've seen some other cards that used it and it was cute, but it just hasn't inspired me enough to make a card. Let's just leave it at that. All right, so I have my three pieces. Now I have this Knight of Navy ribbon. And I have my white ribbon. I think I'm just going to use Knight of Navy. And I'm going to make a little bow to the left. And I like this because it's thin and it's very flat. That's what I need. Because I'm going to be putting this over top. So I don't want too much bulk. So let's try to do our little bow over here. Now, I do not want it twisted like that, so I'll try to make sure 
but it's not. And you do want to get it fairly straight because if you tie your bow and it's not fairly straight, then when you do straighten it, it's too loose. Hey Shannon, happily, happily, happy family day and President's Day in the United States. All right, there we go. I love this ribbon. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer than I typically do. And I do have that little bit of... It's okay because as soon as I put that piece on, it's going to go away. So this is Misty Moonlight. This is just like all shades of blue. I am going to pop this up with dimensionals. And that will hold my ribbon down as well. This particular one is from the Ornate Layering Dies, which I haven't used in a while. As I pulled it out, I thought, oh, that would be good for, I think, the butterfly products coming up. Hi, Wanda. So I'll have to pull it out again. You know when you get a new, it was early release, so I used it so much that then when all the rest of the new stuff came out, I didn't use it as much. Okay, so we have that, that, and then we're going to put our happy birthday. So let's go ahead and glue this on. So this is Balmy Blue, Knight of Navy, and the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper, and Misty Moonlight, and one of my hairs. Oh, jeez. All right, looking good. We're using that on the next card as well. And I think I'll pop this up as well. See if I have any little edge pieces. The edge pieces are perfect for this, especially these ones that are kind of weird shape along the edge, but they're perfect. Is anyone else doing anything fun for family day? Norman, I went for a beautiful hike, hike, walk out in the back. Yesterday was magical. It was, we call it champagne snow, that snow that glistens. It was sunny and it looked like um, sugar candy. It was so pretty. And then he went later in the day and he comes back and says, you're not gonna be very happy. And I said, why? Because someone in their four-wheeler so there was just out there there was just ski tracks from the guy next door and our footprints in this beautiful pristine snow and then a couple of guys went out on their four-wheelers and snowmobile track and snowmobiles and like messed up all the tracks I wasn't happy I know it's fun for them but all right now I have my holiday rhinestone basic jewels oh that's perfect Sandra you need a little me time in your day. So these are still available in the annual catalog and I really like them because you get a good variety of colors. So let's just add a couple and they have almost a little silver rim around them. So let's put one in there. Now if we wanna use this for a guy card, we don't need to put too many, but it is fun to have a couple. All right, so there's our first card, happy birthday, and I haven't used this paper yet. I think it's perfect for this card. Oh, and I do have the envelope, seeing as I have so much of it left because I haven't used any of it, I thought we could do the envelope as well. So let me just get my stamp and seal. I just go around the edge of the envelope you do want to get fairly close to the edge so it doesn't mess up the machine at the post office. Put that on and then, then just trim it up. Okay, this is the paper that I haven't been inspired to use yet. Maybe if someone else has made a really cool card with it, they could post it because, I don't know, it's got a lot of colors going on. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't very straight. Perfect. It's got a lot of colors going on. It's pretty cool, but I just, I don't know. I haven't used it for anything. I hadn't used this one either, but I think that's a cool card. 
I think so too, Wanda. A nice masculine card. It kind of looks like leopard print, but it's not. Obviously, it's blue. Anyways, it's all good. So, another paper that I haven't used much, I'm sure I've used it a little bit, is this teeny floral one. So I do have a piece for the envelope. So let's go ahead and get the envelope done. And I'm just getting as close to the edge as I can. And then let's try to do this one a little better. There we go. So the first card is very simple. Simple plain. This one is simple but it'll be a little more embellished. And then the last one is a little even more layered like you know I like. So there's our envelope ready to go for this one. Now, card base, Whisper White. Then we have Knight of Navy. Then we have Balmy Blue again. I, trying to, I think that's the closest color. Is that Balmy Blue? Yeah, it is. This is Seaside Spray. So maybe Seaside Spray, but hmm, we're doing Balmy Blue. And then I have a bunch of layers. So let's start layering because we're going to put a ribbon around again. So we'll do balmy blue. Try to center it. Oh, Sandra. Brilliant. Sandra was saying use the die cuts to cut out flowers. Yes. I could see myself using it for that. That's perfect. And I like how it's like not just plain uh, color. It's got a little bit of watercolor to it. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. And that makes perfect sense. Because I have quite a few sheets of it. All right, so we've got these layered up. Now the idea for this card, just a basic card, we're going to put our little cutout from Hippo and Friends. This Hope Your Birthday is Filled with Beautiful Things is from the Cactus uh, stamp set. It's actually the kit. Next week is Succulents and cacti, cacti. So I want to put ribbon around here, but I'm going to try and put two ribbons. I may regret it and I may go back to one, but I want to try putting two ribbons and see how that works. So I just want it on these pieces and I'll see how it goes. I might put like one and then the other one or else one on top of the other one. I'll probably put it on top because actually when you go to tie the bow, it's going to go on top anyways. All right, those of you who follow me know that I create, I have my stuff cut out, but then I actually, I haven't made the card before, except in my mind. I'm just trying to get that on top. All right, this might work. And I think for this one, I'm gonna try for a sideways bow. So it's going to be hit or miss which part is on the top and which part is on the bottom. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get one of each. All right. I am trying to get them kind of the same size. Okay, that turned out pretty good. I'm going to push it up a little bit because I am centering this. All right, I like it. Oopsie. And then we're just going to adorn it with a bunch of flowers. 
Sandra, I can't believe I didn't think of that. I'll do that this week because this week I'm going to be focusing on the dies. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this with dimensionals. And then we're going to layer up some flowers. So I have flowers in, now that I realize, I have flowers in Seaside Spray, White, and Night of Navy. This paper is really cute. I thought when I first did it, I was just going to punch out little flowers with the small blooms punch. But then... Then I realized that some of these flowers are exactly like these little ones. Well, that's kind of big. I'm, I just pulled out some small ones because I don't want to use the really big ones. All right, we're good so far. I'm just going to trim. These both, both of these ribbons are so, um, the word I'm looking for thin I guess and easy to work with that it was easy to tie two bows so I actually like how that turned out oh that's my card base almost forgot <laughs> I was thinking this was the card so I think this card design picks up all the colors that I'm working with and if you have some ribbons having it um, turned over like that in the back might be bad because it would be bulky but this ribbon not so much that's that crinkled seam binding that I'm sure I use every time I do a Facebook Live. Most of the times I actually color it. All right, now what we're going to do is add some flowers around the edge. We've already got our bow. So we have some blue. I think these ones, oh, maybe not. Now you have to think about are you going to put dimensionals and if you are then is it still going to be flat or do you want your dimensionals on top so I'm going to start with this one put a dimensional on it and put it off to the side because it's pretty big so that the dimensional is on the card for this one I'm going to put a little dimensional but I'm putting it on top so that it pops up a little bit more and is on top of this one so I'm being careful of my lettering because we don't want to get it on top. I'm going to layer this one up a little bit while I can. Now you can decide if you want to put dimensionals on every layer. I am going to put a couple of dimensional layers just because it's fun. The blue ribbon is from one of the combo packs in the annual catalog, which I don't have with me. It's not on my desk. So Shannon, if you're at your desk and you can open the annual catalog, it's um, hmm, Playful Pets maybe? It's a combo pack. That's why it doesn't say on it. Otherwise, I would just look and tell you. Um, but it's a really nice weight, a nice thickness, and it ties beautiful bows. So maybe if you find it, you can let us know. Okay, then I'm going to add this little white one. No. The white was too stark, but this white one's going to go here. And obviously you can put as few or as many of these little layers as you want. You know me, I like a lot. And for this one, we're not doing any leaves. We're just doing flowers. I don't know why I didn't cut out any of the navy ones to match here, but I didn't. So we're kind of doing just different color combinations. And I think I want to do one more down here. So I'm putting this on flat actually with a glue dot. I just put the glue dot on the front of the flower. Does anyone know where that blue ribbon is from? Um, let's do blue. So we'll do kind of opposite that we had there. I'm going to pop this one up.
And it needs one more little one up here, I feel. Maybe white on white. Playing with patterns. Okay, thanks, Shannon. I knew it was a combo pack. I could not remember which combo pack. Oh, playing with patterns. Huh. Okay. That wouldn't have been my guess. So what other colors are in it? Playing with patterns. Trying to even remember what that set looked like. Okay, so this flower I'm doing... White with blue. I'm just going to put this on with the glue dot. It's a great ribbon. It's a great ribbon. You need it. And I'm going to put this one on flat as well. And there's one, you can see this one little spot where it didn't die cut properly. So I noticed those things. So this one is going to get tucked in like that. Oops. I almost did it so you couldn't see the greeting. Okay, I think that's enough flowers. I could keep going. Oh, I will put one in here, maybe one of the bigger ones. And I'm going to use glue dots because I don't want a lot of height. Oh, Purple Posy and Coastal Cabana. Okay. Those are all colors you would use a lot, so that's a good set to have. I think the Purple Posy one is a thicker one. I haven't used that one as much, but the Coastal Cabana for sure. Okay, this flower is getting all the colors. There we go. So now we're going to take our rhinestones and add some to the middle of the flowers. And I know some of them are navy blue, but you can still see them. It just adds a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm going to put one right down here. No, I'm going to put two. There. So that's card number two. A little more fancy, a few more layers. The colors are really pretty and they're pretty traditional. Like there's nothing, I think these colors will be around for a long time. At least some form of navy and lighter blue. But it just looks really pretty with that paper. And then you have your matching card. So very nice. Now the last one. Uh, let me just get rid of, I thought of using this Baker's Twine for the first card. But I like this better. I think it shows up a little bit more. And I don't think it's girly. I think you could still use it for a masculine card, but you could, if you don't have that ribbon, you could use your Knight of Navy. This is from the Well Suited suite of products. So that's also an option. All right, the last one is definitely more feminine. So I'm using the leaf one, which I actually have used before. And it's a bit of a fun fold. So let's go ahead and put this on the back. This one I've used a lot because I hardly have any left. I think that was one of my favorites, but I do love these leaves as well. Oh, thanks, Marty. So this is going on the inside. So this card is four and a quarter by 11. And then it's scored at five and a half, so just in half. The easiest way I find to make this fold is you just fold it in half and then you fold it back on itself. I did use a scoring tool, but sometimes when you do, it's not exact. So that's the easiest way I find to do it. Now for this layer, um, I didn't want that. I want it all, It's a, this is a monotone card. So I just cut another little piece of the same paper and I put it on. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll try embossing it. So I embossed it using the greenery embossing folders, this little folder that fits in the mini die cut machine. And I don't know. Then I thought, well, you can't really even tell it's embossed. I mean, it doesn't look bad. 
So I thought, well, I'll try embossing just a piece of the cardstock. So I embossed just a piece of the cardstock and I put it on and I didn't like it. So, well, I didn't like it as much. If I had done this first, it would have been fine. Um, but the way this is designed, it's not really designed for these shorter cards. It's designed more for a card that's going to be five and a quarter inches long. Yes, Shannon, I've seen you playing with the cactus set. That's what inspired me. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put my leaf on. Even though I probably, if I made this again, I wouldn't emboss it. But it's embossed now, so it's staying embossed. Because as you know, no one's going to look at this card and say, oh, why did she emboss it? They're going to say, oh, this is so pretty. All right. So I told you this one was feminine. Then I have vellum. This is the um, Stitch So Sweetly scalloped rectangle, not the largest one. Then I have the same thing in soft sea foam. So that's gonna go in here. And then this shape is from the uh, Pierced Blooms. So first I did it in Old Olive because that's one of the colors in here, Old Olive. And I thought that was too dark. So I did it again in Pear Pizzazz and I like that better. So this is the look we're going for. And so for this one, we're gonna introduce vellum into our flowers and we have more leaves than flowers. And I'm just thinking about, I don't, I don't have a ribbon plan for this one. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to layer up this piece into the middle of my vellum. I was actually originally going to do it the opposite. Have the green and then the vellum on top. It's not quite. And then I thought I would do it this way instead. So then we're going to have our little sentiment and that's going to get popped up. So let's go ahead and put this piece on. And the way I do it is I turn it over and I want to pop it. So I'm using up these little extra pieces that I have. This shows me where to put my dimensionals. I want to make sure I don't put it right to the edge because it'll show through the vellum. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. And I'm going to use the opal rounds as the embellishment because the opal rounds kind of pick up whatever color you're using with them. You're using them with. I'm going to put it lightly and then make sure it's straight. The angle I look at it is a bit different than the angle that you see. I'm actually going to put this flat because I want to pop up some of my flowers and leaves. And let me think first because, because this is leaves, I want to have lots of leaves and just a couple of flowers. So I think I want leaves behind as well as in front. So I have leaves in Old Olive, Vellum, and Pear Pizzazz. So I don't need a lot of flowers on this because it is, the paper is leaves. So I think I want those two there. And maybe a couple coming out the bottom. So sometimes I put the vellum behind, sometimes I put it on top. Now, just getting some glue dots. I'm actually holding this down. So I know kind of where I want these. Let's do it this way. I still want to see mostly leaves. That was our reject piece. I'll use it for something else. And do make sure that you've got the stitching the way you want it because there is really a front and a back to these. All right, so I put a couple on, then I go back, see if I like it. Then let's add some up here.
So these ones are going this way, so now I want these ones to go this way. So, oh, there it is. Now I need my vellum. And if it doesn't have any flowers on it, that's actually okay with me. Now we're making sure that it doesn't go over the edge. So I'm getting pretty close there. Just gonna angle these two a little bit over. Okay, that's good. And I think, how many more do I have? Yes, I like that. Sometimes you can stick it onto a glue dot you already have on there, but I always make sure I put something else on so it's still pretty sticky. Now I don't want those two colors exactly on top of each other. Okay, that didn't work. Let's start again. So I want this one on the front. So you have to think about, I didn't want the two old olive together. So whichever one you want closest to your banner or your sentiment thing, put on first. And then I'll put the old olive one. And I wish I'd cut it one more. Oh, I might have one. One more in vellum, but I didn't. But I do have my little bucket here. I think I have some vellum, like little sprigs. Oh, maybe this. Yes. All right. I like when I just cut out a whole bunch and then I just pick and choose. Okay, why didn't I have this one on before? Okay, so this last one's coming off. And we're going to get a sea, uh, so, oh, soft sea foam. All right, and we might just put this one down here. We'll see. I actually totally forgot to cut out something for there. I might have one in my bucket though. All right, so I like how this is looking. It needs to come over a little bit. It's actually just kind of stuck in there and these need to come down a little bit because they're almost going over top. And now that I've got all this done, I am gonna pop it up. And the dimensionals kind of hold the leaves in place as well. So, see how it's looking? It's always a chance to add a bow, although I would have colored one, which I can still do, because I think it does need a bow now that I'm looking at it. All right, so I want this centered, and hopefully it kind of lines up with there. I like that. I don't think I want to add any flowers. I don't think so. There are some little two leaf ones. Let's try. Now, I am thinking I want, oh, I just jiggled the camera, sorry. When you watch my YouTube videos, oh no, this is not YouTube, this is Facebook. You do see how I do it like live. So I'm taking soft sea foam. I'm taking this ribbon that I love. It is the crinkled seam binding ribbon. You need to have like 10 rolls in your stash. Whoops, that's not what I want. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly color it. You should actually let it dry a little bit, but no time. 
I just think now it needs a bow because I'm not adding any flowers. So this is as quick it is, as it is. You can go do as many layers as you want, but that's as good it is, as it is. It's still a little wet right now, so the glue dot might not stay on, but we'll get the idea. So then I'm just tying it in a bow. I think this color is good, actually. I could have used old olive, would have been too dark for, for me, personally. Um, but I think this is going to be good. Because <laughs> it's wet, it's actually like bending. So note to self, give it a little bit of time to dry. But that's how quick it is to make ribbon every color you have a blend. You have to use blends, not your stamp and write markers. Your stamp and write markers are the wrong kind of ink. These are alcohol based, so they are perfect. Because I wanted it right here. As I was designing it, I felt like it needed a bow right there. So let's see if I was right. Yeah, I like that. Now I also keep a little bucket of these little things. Oh, perfect. Because whenever I cut them in white, I always cut them two at a time. So I always have an extra. So let's just go ahead and put this on. It's just remembering to use them, so I do keep them fairly close to my stash. I'm going to center it and hope before I press it down. Pretty good. It could have gone over a little bit more. And I'm going to take one sprig and put it inside. And I'm just going to do this. These um, pierced blooms are beautiful. And the stems are skinny enough that you can kind of bend them if you want to. I could put a little flower there, but I haven't put a flower on anywhere else on the card, so I'm not gonna start now. That's my reject. All right, now we're gonna add a couple of the little opal rounds. So these come in two sizes. They are fairly um, high, I will say that but I think you'll see how they take on whatever color you put them with. I'm gonna put two here. Then I'll put a bigger one over here because the height of it, we have already got so much height in the card here, I don't think it'll interfere with mailing. See how now it looks kind of green inside? These are in the mini catalog in the seashell. I don't remember what it's called, but the the suite that has the seashell and the pearlescent paper. I'm gonna add one more over here. All right, so this card is our little bit fancier. But again, I think all it needs is just leaves because that's what it is. I feel like this needs something else up there, but I guess it's fine. All right, so let's review. I didn't do an envelope for this one. Let's review our three cards. So we have You Are Amazing in Soft Sea Foam, Pear Pizzazz and Old Olive and Vellum. I like the layer of vellum, it's pretty. So that's our feminine. This is our kind of fun in the navy, balmy blue, seaside spray and white. The matching envelope. And then we have our more masculine one in Night of Navy Seaside Spray. You can see the difference between Seaside Spray and Balmy Blue. And Misty Moonlight. And they, then again, we have our envelope. And this is with the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper, which is a free celebration item, only available to February 28th. So go to your craft room, see what your stock is on stuff you use all the time, like adhesives and white card stock. You know you're always going to run out of that kind of stuff. So it's a perfect time to stock up and get some free stuff. And you could get this pack of paper absolutely free. All right. Thanks for joining me today that I remembered that it was Monday and I was supposed to be doing a Facebook Live at 3. 
So we combined our Celebration Sunday, which is the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper, with the Pierced Blooms dies. And all this week we'll be playing with the Perennial, perennial set and the In Bloom set. So thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. If you're watching on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell for north notifications, notifications. And if you're looking for any of my class uh, PDF tutorials, they are on my blog, MarianneCowan.com. Just hit the shop button and you'll see a drop down where it says PDF tutorials. All right, thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the class today. I feel like it's a class. I feel like you're like in my craft room with me and we're just kind of having fun. And I'm longing for the day when that will actually happen. So hopefully it'll be sooner than later. At least the, the um, weather's getting nicer and the days are getting longer. The weather, Canadian weather guy said that each day we have three more minutes of sunlight. So that means in seven days we have 21 more minutes of sunlight. And I definitely have been noticing that, that it's not getting dark as early. And I just looked at the two week forecast this week is a bit of a mess, but starting next week, highs near one and zero. Yes, that is awesome. I'll take it. All right. Thanks, everyone, and enjoy your day. Happy Family Day.